today i am going to describe you the use of query language in sap before starting the process of a query in sap let us tell you something in brief about the query language what is the objective of query language the objective of the query language is to manipulate the data in relational database management system what is query in fact it is a fourth generation language based on the concept of relational <coughs> sorry relational algebra and the relational calculus for use against rdbms query allows users to access data stored in relational database management system users can create delete databases as well as set permissions on database tables views and procedures it also allows users to manipulate the data within the database whatever i have described you may not be available in the sap because query language is provided by the sap in its own environment so it may it may not be available i have not checked it whether the features of deletion and change of permission etc are available in sap or not let us see how it is used let us go to the sap eg access screen we will use the t code sqvi to create the query this is the quick viewer view of the sap this t code is used to build the query and generate the desired report the first step after entering that t code sq vi is to enter the name of the quick view so i will enter for example the name as quick view 1 after entering the name double click oh, or click the create button another screen is before you we can enter the detail name detail description of the query testing query of sap we will go to basis mode press continue button sorry before going ahead we have to select the table join because we will use multiple tables
okay this is the screen where we can select the tables and process the fields in the tables so for this we have to click here the button insert table or we can carry out this operation by shift f1 button so let us press it it is asking the name of the table so one of the table i will take mara actually it's a stock item master table press continue button mara table is being displayed over here along with the name of the field technical name and the long text like m a t n r means this field stores material number e r s d a stores created on e r name name of the person who created the object l a e d a date of last change a e n a m name of the person who checked object v p s t a maintenance status of complete material like this there are various fields in this table mara <coughs> i will select another table q u a l this is a table related to quality data Q A L S sorry that table name is Q A L S. So this is the table Q A L S. If you see, there is a link. These two tables are joined. by the key field m m t n r these two fields are available in both the tables mara table and the q a l s table and these are the, the and the, it is this field which joins these two tables with the help of this join we can display in our report the fields from this table and the fields from this table so let me show you how it is being done it is done now go back you see we have here both the tables which we have selected mara and qls will expand mara table so that we can see the name of the fields clearly so these are the fields which are available in mara table we will take material number material number can be selected as a field displayed in list and field appearing on the selection screen if you select both the button 
this tick button will display the content of the material number in the report and if you select the tick mark against the field appearing on the selection screen this field will help you to build the query I will show you how it is being done now some other field you will display in our report material type this I will only display no query can be made on this field it will be only for display similarly industry sector base unit of measure purchase value key okay some other field we can take say gross weight that's enough we will go back and we will select some fields from this QA LS table from this table we will display lot number we will display plant we will display inspection lot origin ok similarly we can display other field like source inspection ok that's all let us save it query has been saved now we will execute the query see this button press it the query has been executed see we have selected material number as a selectable field also that is why it is asking for for which material you wanted the report you can take one material you can take multiple material you can take uh, wildcard also so first I will show you a single item PTY is my material I will press execute so this is the report in which material PTY is available everywhere what is the material type what is the base unit of measure what is the gross weight what is the weight unit what is the inspection lot in which plant this material is being processed what is the inspection lot origin and what is the source of inspection so in this fashion we can create a query and view the or display the report in SAP system in our next video I will tell you how to email the supply order generated in SAP thank you very much